Hey, everybody. Uh, let's go over the answers and see how you did on this easy CPM assignment, right? We don't always say easy with CPM assignments. So we use a little, a little difficult side, right? Uh, so let's just go ahead and see how you did. Let's see if I get the light on here. Focus. Okay. Tom Brady. Ouch. Right? Yeah. See, uh, this is Super Bowl. I don't know if you guys know. This Sunday, Super Bowl LV. Why? Because L stands for 50 and V stands for five. So it's the 55th Super Bowl, right? They use these Roman numerals for that. Now, I thought last year, thinking, hmm, my Oakland Raiders are moving to Las Vegas and next year's Super Bowl, Super Bowl LV. Wouldn't it be cool? LV, Las Vegas, right? But instead, my buddy had to point out that the Super Bowl is being held in Tampa Bay. So it's TB and TB. So anyway, let's go over these answers and uh, see how you did. Uh, that first one, uh, remember, we were trying to figure out, is that a good way for Ethan to decide what 10% of his pay is 1526 and I gave you two hints. I said, what does of mean in math? And we figured out that's multiply and use the uh, portions web to figure out what is 10% written as a decimal. Okay. And 10%, right? Remember you do that portions web. You want to go from percent to decimal, two spots that way. So 10 becomes boom, boom, point one. So that should work. And remember multiplying decimals, pretend like there's no decimal. One times anything is easy. I moved over one spot to pretend that was a one. So I go back one spot and I answer. And I'll go ahead and put the cents in, right? $152 and 60 cents should work there, right? So hopefully you were able to get that right. And um, here's the key though, that you need to do that I'm not doing. It says explain why this calculation is appropriate. Right? Explain it, and the the key there, I always tell kids, pretend like you have a third grade brother or sister, and you're explaining it to them. It sort of forces you to put it in your words in an easy way to, to make sense, okay? All right, next problem. Now we're resawing the, the lawn, right? And we're going to figure out how much saw to buy. And the big part of the backyard was 18 feet by 24 and a half feet. Remember that symbol? So that's a short way of writing uh, feet. And then there were two parts of the front yard, 14 and a half feet by 18 and a half feet and 14 and a half feet by 12 and a half feet. And uh, I, I recommended, um, I, or I think I told you there was a way to combine two. Since both of these are 14 and a half, if you wanted, you could slide this down and add 18 and a half plus 12 and a half to get... 30 and two halves, which is 31 feet. And you can pretend like this is one big rectangle and go 31 times 14 and a half, right? Because the 12 and a half, right? Because it was the same uh, width. So you can do that or we can get all three. Now, in order to multiply these, I've been telling kids, hey, go ahead and use a generic rectangle. Let's pretend like we got a generic rectangle here. Call this 24 and this a half. And call this, oh, we just need the one line coming down, huh? So this is 18. 18 times 24. I'm going to go over here and do it. 8 times 4 is 32. 16 and 3 is 19. Placeholder, 1 times 24, 24, right? So I got 432 on this one. And then one half times 16, remember, of means times. What's half of 18? Now hopefully you figured out nine. If you didn't, then you had to turn 18 into a fraction because multiplying fractions is what? Easy, All right? And you do that by putting a one under it. 18 times one on top, one times two on the bottom, and this simplifies the nine over one. That's how we got the nine. So this whole thing is 432 plus 9. That is 441. This one, <clears throat> you want to put them together? 
let's do it apart just in case. All right, so I'm going to have a half and a half. All right, I'm going to call this 12, this 14, that half, and that half. 12 times 14, that ends up being 168. What's half of 12? Six. What's half of 14? Seven. Half times a half is a fourth. Okay, so I got 168 and six more, 174, seven more, 181 and a fourth for that one. Okay, and here we got a half, 14, 18, and a half. Half of 14 is seven, half of 18 is nine, 14 times 18. I can't do that one in my head. <clears throat> 32, 7, placeholder, 18, 252. So 252 and 9 and 7 is 16, and a half and a half is a fourth. <clears throat> so 268 and a fourth on this one. So I have to add those three numbers. 441. Two, six, eight, and one fourth, and one, eight, one, and one fourth. Well, same denominator, got like that. One fourth and one fourth is two fourths. I'm going to go ahead and write one half there. 11, 8, 19, 890 and a half. Don't forget the units, square feet. Okay. Now, I did all three, these two separate. You could have put those together in that 31 times 14, 100, sorry, 14 and a half. Okay, if you wanted to. Uh, let's cruise on to 550. Again, you're multiplying decimals. You're going four times seven in your head. That's 28. And realizing I got to move it over. Moved it over three in my problem. Move it back three in my answer. Okay, cool video coming out uh, today with the Pizzazz Worksheet. It's a con video showing you how to multiply decimals. Okay, definitely recommend you watching it. Okay, uh, actually coming out tomorrow. You're watching, you're probably watching this this afternoon, huh? All right, 3 times 18, 54. It's the same as 6 times 9. I went over once there, once there. Go back twice. Okay. Easy enough. <clears throat> 551. Okay, on this one, remember we had those ropes, right? And we were having a number of ropes that were same size. Okay, so we had four that were the same size plus 10, and total that was 30 feet. And we wrote the expression M plus M plus M plus M plus 10. You didn't have to use M for your variable. That's what we used. Uh, and that equaled 30. And that's the same as M times 4 is 30. And we got all the way down to M equals 20 divided by 4, which is 5. Now, you aren't done because you want to go back and substitute M, M, right? So you're going 5 times 4 plus 10, and does that equal 30? Well, 20 and 10 is 30, right? Or you can go all the way back to your original and say, is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 10, 30? And it is. So you did it right. Good job. All right. Easy. Easy here. Uh, uh, portions webs, right? And to go from a fraction to a decimal, you divide the bottom into the top. I say, but Mr. Daniel, it won't fit. It'll never fit unless it's improper, remember? And the reason we're doing this is to find a decimal. So just add a decimal, bring it up, and add a zero. Now I go 4 into 10. That's twice. 2 times 4 is 8. I got a remainder, so I'm going to add another zero. And 4 goes into 20 five times. 0 0.25. Right, and to go from a decimal to percent, move it two spots. Right, I'm going from here to here, move the decimal two spots that way. If go here, 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 move the decimal two spots that way. Pretty cool. So that's going to be 25 percent, 25 hundreds is 25 per hundred. That's an easy one to draw a picture of, right? One fourth. All right, 19 25ths, divide the bottom into the top. 
25 goes into 190, 25, 50, 75, 1, 25, 50, 75. So I'm going to go 7 times. That's 175. And the reason I could do that, I'm good at counting by quarters, counting quarters, right? So I add a 0, and look at that. 25 goes into 150 exactly 6 times. So that's 0 0.76. Move it two spots, 76%. Now, I'm going to write the words on that one. I'm not going to divide a pizza into 25 slots. 19, 20 fifths. All right? Three halves. That's the same as one and one half. There's your picture, right? And one and a half is the same as 1.5. Boom, boom. 150%. Three eighths. Divide the bottom into the top. It won't fit. Add a zero. Add a decimal. That goes three times because three times eight is 24. Add another zero. Eight goes into 67 times. Add one more zero, and it fits perfectly, 8 times 5. So that is 0 0.375. And I think we had this actual problem on the warm-up yesterday twice. So if you've been doing the warm-up, remember what they say, doing the warm-up makes homework easy. Doing the warm-up and homework makes tests easy. All right, last thing, the picture. There's halves. There's fourths. There's eights. Color in three of them. Okay. All right. Was I right? That was one of the easier CPM assignments, wasn't it? Okay. All right. Have a great day, everybody.